In the last video lesson, we saw Chef Henry make his first app by choosing a theme, and then he beamed it to his iPhone. Though it looked quite impressive, it still needed some stuff inside, like photos. Maybe some better Facebook and Twitter buttons, and it certainly needed an interactive map. So he clicked the map feature and simply typed his address. The program magically made a map for him. The pizza wasn't for Henry. Let's change that, he said, and clicked the icon feature. He'd made a new logo earlier on his computer. So he looked for it, found it, and added it to his app. It was time to send those changes to his iPhone. He did not need a cable nor did he need any text message or email. He just clicked the blinking light and the new stuff was sent to his iPhone and everyone else's iPhone who has Henry's app. You can even watch it update. And here is his new logo, fully animated. Let's see if the map he just made arrived inside the app too. Yes, here it is. Henry's ready to add the last few features to his app in the next video lesson. But before that, he checks to see if it's true. Yes, the annoying pizza is gone. His logo is now the button on the iPhone's main screen.